The first thing we're going to get into is non-essential programs running in your tray or taskbar. So if you're on Windows, you've got like a start menu, you've got like icons on the right hand side, at least I think you have in version 8 or 10, whatever you're on now. Uh, on Mac, it's at the top of the screen and you've got this sort of tray bar of items that are running. Those are programs, tasks that are currently running but are probably dormant, sitting on your machine, doing nothing until they phone home, very ET style. They lay dormant, and based on a set of programs, procedures inside of each program, they will phone home, or the the cloud server will, will literally talk to your system and send it little ping updates. So every time it does that, that program in the background is going off, checking on a server, looking for a file, checking, have I got the latest version? Yes, you've got the latest version. Okay, I'll leave you alone. No, you don't have the latest version. How about I download it now in the background to make it super convenient that when you log on next, it says, I've downloaded a new version. Do you mind me shutting down and installing it? What it's doing though is in the background, it's grabbing that data. And while it's grabbing that data, it's using your internet connection. You have a suite of these apps running and you start to see where all these little interruptions come into when you do video streaming so be it on skype or being on blab.im when you're in a video chat you kind of forget that you have other stuff running on your computer with web video it's super crucial to be able to use as much of the bandwidth that you have as possible if you have an internet connection where you've only got a couple of meg up and down every bit of that couple of meg up down is important for video because it needs to have a good solid stable connection to the server that you're using or to the skype server that you're using blab server whichever one you're using so for instance you might have um, creative suite that runs in the background that needs to talk to the cloud in terms of registration in terms of grabbing updates there might be a whole suite of them running in the background that you don't even know about so i would suggest that before you do any web streaming whatsoever and you can find programs that do this i can't think of any off the top of my head right now I tend to have this automatic OCD where I if I know I'm going into blab or Skype I just shut down all my tray items that I know can talk back to 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 home when I talk about home I talk about on the cloud um, phone home ET and all that stuff um, so you're probably best shutting all those down but you can find an app on PC and Mac which will enable you to select the apps that are running in your tray and you can click one button and say kill all these off I'm gonna go and play my game game is another huge one that needs internet connection to you know be completely in in on un, un, uninterrupted I can't even say it uninterrupted so like it can't have any issues otherwise what you ha what happens is you get spikes ping spikes of when things happen different apps are pinging at different times every time that happens your internet connection loses its flow so if you're doing a video chat which requires the latency to be as low as possible what happens is it tends to cause like a techno in your as your internet connection to that server tries to retrain itself and get back in order that's why you get that sound that's why you get that issue is because you've got different events going on that's not to say that your computer could be perfect and you, do, you don't get another event that's happening congestion wise from the place from the street that you're in actually loads of people going onto ebay or amazon or or facebook all at the same time that causes congestion as well but latency is the one i'm really talking about you want as clean connection to that server as possible um, so do have a look around for apps. There are apps out there where you can click one button and it will shut down all those apps. You can then go into your video chat or your game. When you come back out of, of that game or, or the website, click the button again and they all reload. That way you don't miss out when you're just doing casual web browsing, which doesn't really get affected too much by latency because you're not pushing packets constantly back and forth like video does. All right, I'll catch up with you in the next clip.